A few years ago, I installed The Sims 3 on my new laptop and I was just so happy to see it still run that I completely ignored the possibility of maybe having a way to somehow increase this very small resolution that I was forced to play on. Luckily, I learned a lot since then and today I can show you how to change this and some other things to make a game as optimal to play as possible in the year 2021. So let's get to it. We're going to start with resolution because I think that's most important. Step zero is finding out the resolution of your screen if you don't know it. Just go to your desktop, right click and choose display settings. Now choose the screen you want to play on and there you will find it under display resolution. We will need these two numbers. For me it's 1920x1080. Now we will need to go and find where we installed the game to find the file that we're going to edit. This is not in documents like the downloads folder and all of that stuff. This is the other location for the game on your computer, which is usually on your local disk, your C hard drive, and either in program files or program files x86. Now, if you have the disks, inside of your program files folder, you will probably find a folder called EA games or something like that. And you need to go inside of that and that's where you will find your Sims 2 game and all of its expansion packs all in separate folders. If you have the Ultima collection like I do, you might find a folder called Origin or EA Games in your program files folder and you will see the Sims 2 Ultima collection folder inside of that or just right here all alone in the program files. There are many ways to install this game, okay, but I believe you won't have difficulty finding it. So once you arrived in a folder that has separate folders for the expansion and stuff packs in it, you will have to find the latest pack that you have. And by this, I mean the latest that they have released. Here's a list of all the packs in order of release. You will need to go looking from the bottom up and just stop at the first one you have. So for you, it might be Mansion and Garden stuff or maybe Apartment Life or maybe something before that. However, if you have the Ultimate Collection like I do, you will always need fun with pets. So once you found your expansion pack folder, inside of that you will need SP9 and then TS Data and then Res and then Config. I think this wrap should be the same for everyone. And here in the config folder, we have this file called graphics rules. We need the first one. We need to open this. I advise you open it with notepad. That's the simplest way. So I'm just going to click on it and it will just open in notepad. And this is where we're going to change some things. Let's start with the easiest settings. Right when you open it, you will see some lines in here that say set it low, set it medium and set it high. And next to these for you, it will say one, two and three. And you need to change these to all threes. So to see the same thing as I do here. And now before we do anything else in this file, we need to make sure that we can save it. And for that, you need to click file and save. And if it's just saved and the little star is gone, then you're fine. But if you're less fortunate, you might run into this common problem that is Windows not letting you save the file where it is. And if that's the case, when trying to save, you will get prompted with a window asking you where you want to save this. And this is the sign that you have this problem. So you need to click cancel and then close the file without saving because we need to change some settings in the properties of this file. All you need to do is right click on graphics rules and click properties. Now again, I'm going to do this with another file because I already have the properties edited for that one. So yeah, you open graphics rules properties and inside that you click security and under that you click this edit button right here and then you click add and then we're going to add everyone you just type everyone and then click check names now if your windows is in another language then you will need to type everyone in your own language and then click check names and then we click ok and click allow full control for it and we have all the boxes ticked here and then we click apply and then OK. And now you should be able to save it without running into a problem. So let's open it again 
and do the modifications again, change one and two to say three. And now let's move on to the next settings to change. And that is the resolution itself. You need to search in this file. Uh, so press control and F and what you need to type is screen mode resolution like this and just click find the next ones and then you will see it highlighted at the bottom of your screen you just scroll up and there you will find setting low setting medium but default low setting medium and setting high and next to these you will find your numbers to say probably 800 and 600 instead of these so you will need to change those to your screen resolution that we've checked in the display settings before so for me instead of 800 i put 1920 and instead of 600 i put 1080 and you will need to do this for the first two lines of each block so max res should always say your screen's resolution next to it uh, the width one should say your width and the height one should say your height for each of these blocks the default ones you don't need to care about so just change the first two lines of each block and now we're done with increasing resolution you can click save on this file and then close it and then go open your game and check it out you should be able to change the resolution now inside of the display settings in game you should get something that looks like this the next thing we're going to do is enable smooth edges you may have noticed that this thing here is grayed out when you first open your game smooth edges make your game look prettier so i think you should definitely turn it on so let's get to enabling it in the graphics rules file so for this we're still here in the graphics rules file open in notepad what you will need to search for this time in the file is this i just copy pasted this but you can type it enumerate multi sample levels so you click find next and this time we're going to need every single line that it finds for us so if you found the first one it's here bullprop enumerate multi sample levels and next to it it will say false for you and you need to change this false to say true and you will have to do this for every single line that it finds so always press find next and change false to true at every single one i have already changed them all so <laughs> go all the way until it tells you that it cannot find anymore and that was it all you need to do is save the file once again and open your game and you should be able to change this setting in your game now too and now we move on to our next fix which is still about graphics if you have shadows turned on in your game which you probably will then you will meet this bug that instead of shadows you will just get big black boxes under your sims we are going to use a mod to fix this now don't be scared if you've never installed a mod before i promise you it's going to be very easy so we're here on mod the sims and looking at this amazing shadow fix mod made by nopki um quite some time ago on the description you can read everything about this mod including the differences between the six files available for download now if you click files uh, you will see these zip files here i use the second one so if you don't want to read and you don't care you can just click the second one and use it i think it's going to work for you too and now we click on it and we just put it in the downloads folder once it's downloaded it's very quick you click it and it will open in winrar for you if you don't have winrar yet get it and now we're going to open file explorer once again and navigate to documents and ea games and under that we will find the sims 2 or the sims 2 automatic collection folder let's go inside of this and let's find a folder that is called downloads if you don't have a folder called downloads then you will need to manually create one you just click new folder and then you name it downloads exactly as it is here with a capital d but i do already have one so you will just need to put the package file downloaded 
into this downloads folder. So you go into your downloads folder. I have loads of subfolders here, but uh, you don't have to. And you just drag the package file in the zip here and it will basically be installed. And next time you start your game, it will be applied and you won't see any more black boxes under your sims. And our last step is not so much about graphics, but the random access memory of your computer. The link to this is also in the description box along with everything else. So you click that link and here you will find this download link for the 4GB patch. You'll just click it and save it in your downloads. This patch is required for modern computers to stop your game from crashing. So once it's downloaded, open the zip and double click 4gbpatch.exe. After clicking yes, this window will come up and you will have to find the location of your game once again. I assume you already know this very well, so I'm just gonna go straight into mine and find my application. So it's in program files, the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, Fun with Pets, SP9, and here we're going into TSBin. And here we can find the application, Sims 2 EP9. And now double click this, and it will say executable successfully patched. So we're done here. And that's it, we're finished fixing up the game. You can now start it and test it. If you have any more questions, or maybe if I forgot to go over something important, don't be scared to leave me a comment below. All the links that I used for this video are in the description box. I hope you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and thank you so much for watching, I will see you another time, bye!